Hi, children of God. Praise Jesus. This is Gift Zawadi Love with a Easter message. And actually, it is a message that I received during Easter season. And I asked the Holy Spirit, what is heaven saying? What is heaven talking about this Easter? And the Holy Spirit gave me one word. Finish. Finish. And I said, what do you mean finish? She said, a lot of Christians, a lot of children of God are just doing the work, but they're not finishing. A lot of them have died and gone to heaven, but they are not getting any reward because the reward is for finishing. They are in heaven because it's a benefit of serving God on earth. But some of them served God without knowing exactly what they were created to do. Some of them did not do to completion. The Bible says in John 4 34 that Jesus said to them, he was talking to his disciples when they found him with the Samaritan woman and asked him why he is not hungry. You know, they had brought some food for him. And he said, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to completely finish his work. Do the will and finish. A lot of us are just doing the will, but we are not finishing. You cannot just run a race to run. You have to run the race to finish and finish well. The reward in a race is given to those who run and finish well. There is something else he said. That Jesus Christ showed us an example of finishing. And that is why at the cross, when he finished everything, he said, it is finished. And not just Jesus, but his disciples after that followed the example of finishing doing to finish not doing just for the sake of it not doing it just because that is your name no paul himself said that i wish i would go to you know you know for me to live is christ and to die is gain but i know just for your sake i'm going to stay on earth a little bit longer so i can teach you some more he basically dictated the time that he's going to be on earth but then when he finished his work, do you know what he says? He wrote an, a finishing letter. Just like Jesus said it is finished, Paul wrote it is finished letter. He said, I have run a good, I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. Now there is a crown waiting for me. There is the reward for finishing. And let me tell you, children of God, you do not get surprised by death. You actually tell death, hey, it is time. Just like Jesus did. Jesus told Judas, can you go and quickly finish what you are supposed to be doing? He kept talking about his death and telling his disciples, I must die, I must suffer. This is how I'm finishing it. He spoke of the end more than the beginning. A lot of us, we celebrate more the beginning than the end. We, we should number our days. That you may gain a heart of wisdom. Wisdom is how do you finish? Wisdom is planning on finishing. Just like when a, a, a child is sitting down to do their homework. And they're not finishing their work. They're just playing around. Or they do it a little bit, get distracted here and there. Before you know it, time is gone. You tell them, finish your work. The Holy Spirit is saying, God is calling upon finishers. People will finish. Because heaven is lacking finishers it is full of people who are doing but they are not finishing the bible says in john 20 from verse 1 i'm gonna read verse 1 to 9 well i'm just gonna give you a little synopsis this is when they rushed to the tomb and they were looking for jesus after the women told them that jesus is risen as the angels had told the women. So the women went to the disciples. And Peter and John, we see Peter and John running to the tomb to verify what the women were saying is true. So Peter and the, verse 3. So Peter and the other disciples left and they were going to the tomb. And the two were running together. But the other disciple outran Peter and arrived to the tomb first. John got to the tomb first. Stooping down and looking in, he saw the linen wrappings neatly lying there. But he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came up following him and he went into the tomb and saw the linen wrappings 
neatly lying there. And the burial face cloth, which had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the other linen, but rolled up in a place by itself. It was neatly folded. This is amazing how we are looking at, at um, how the linen was folded. I'm going to read in the, with the New King James Version. The New King James Version says, and the handkerchief that had been around the head, not lying with the linen clothes, but folded together in a place by itself. Why was that one at the head folded neatly and put on the side? Because the head of the church with Jesus Christ had finished his work. And his work, his linen, had been folded neatly and put in one place. Now it is time for you and I to get busy with our work because we are the body of Christ and the rest of the linen needs to be folded. Only those who finish well have their linens folded. Let us follow the example of our master. Finish is what heaven is saying. Don't just do it, but finish. The Bible says that he is faithful to complete to bring to completion what he began in us. He who began a good work in us, he's faithful to complete it. A lot of us, we are not working towards completion. We are working just because we are working. The heaven is calling upon finishers. Heaven wants to reward, give rewards. We are short of rewarding people in heaven. But they are very full of people who just do. Be hot. Work towards finish. Let us run this race with an intent to finish and finish well. Let us look towards the end just like Jesus kept doing. He was working the works of the Father. He was healing the sick. He was raising the dead. Yet he said, I must suffer and I will die. He looked at the finish. He spoke about the finish. Paul took the same example. And he said, yes, I know I would love, I'd rather be with Jesus right now. For me to live is Christ and to die is King. He spoke about the finish. The minute you talk about the end, that is when you understand now you are living your life on purpose. But the minute you do not even discuss the end, you are afraid of death. Then you know there is a big problem because you are not working towards finishing the work. And realizing that, it's almost like you're in school and you have a degree, you are studying for a degree. Don't you look at how many classes do I have left to finish? You look at the end. How can I finish well? How can I make sure that I finish these classes well, these courses well? You're not in school just to stay in school. There is a reason why we're in the kingdom. And that is to do the work of the, our father and to finish it. Finish. As I wind up today, I want to tell you, put John 4, 34 on your lips and speak and say that my food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. My food, my satisfaction, what gives me satisfaction? What gives me a reason to go? It is the fact that I am here to do the will of my father who sent me because we are sent here by God. You never sent yourself. The will of him who sent me and to finish. I am here to do and finish. To do to completion. Finish the work. Jesus is coming soon. And that is why right now it, go, it gets to a point where the Holy Spirit was showing me. Like when you have uh, kids and you're telling them, eat your food. Eat your food. The very, when they start doing eating the food or when they are starting uh, their homework, it's easy. They are starting. It's fine. You are, you are very patient with them. But when now time is running out, what do you tell them? Finish. Finish. We got to go. Finish that food. Finish your homework. Heaven is saying, finish. Jesus is coming. Finish. Jesus is coming. Finish. Jesus is coming again. Right now, he's on his way finish in Jesus name. God bless you so much. I love you with the love of Christ.
And from now on, let us look towards the goal, the end point. Let's finish this work that you were created to do. Amen.